Hey, my name is Liam Gallagher. Liam G25 is my handle, and this is a tutorial on the how to speedrun level 15 of Splatoon 2. This is an individual level segment. This, the strats that you would use for New Game Plus are pretty similar to this, so it'll apply there. These tutorials are meant for people who are already familiar with the game. Maybe you've played some competitive. You already know how to get your squid around, uh, but you're just looking for the strats on how to play real good. Okay. So, this is another one of these levels where you're going to go throughout the arena, dodging the octolings, trying to get all the zapfishes in the jars. So the order that we're going is going to go start here, go to that one, go down to that one, go to that one, up to there, down to that one in the middle, well not the middle, but you know, the middle distance, and then the actual middle. Okay, so. We're gonna try to take the shortest path we possibly can through this arena. So the first thing to do is you're gonna uh, ink right ahead of you with your dualies. Then you're gonna throw a curler. There's a disruptor uh, sub-weapon thingy on the ground there that you wanna avoid. There's will be just a little window to get through on the insides. It'll be like this. Sweet. All right. So then that Oscar wing will spawn in and will probably get you the first few times with the roller and that's annoying. But once you've grabbed the, um, the zapfish, what you want to do is ink and fall and then swim up this far. And then you can get a curler from here pretty much all the way to the next zapfish. All right, well, my angle's a little off. Sometimes that happens, as you all know, <laughs> with curlers. Anyways, another curler there will get you down. Once you've grabbed that one, uh, that uh, Octoling will spawn in, but you don't really have to worry about her too much. If you're moving fast enough, you will not need to come in contact with her. But you ink, come down, ink, climb the vertical, curler gets it. Okay, for that um, disruptor there, you can just ignore it. What I would do is I go into squid form, ink, swim, you're through. Okay, that Octoling will be waiting there for you, but you can just ignore her. I would send a curler down here. And then one more down there. Grab the uh, grab the zapfish, and then that octoling will jump in. At that point, you can come around the corner. All right, that puts you into this position. What you want to do is you want to send a curler up this ramp right here, uh, just like so. And that's your next little racing line. If you do it right, it'll blow up right here. And depending upon how uh, the uh, Octo Octoling Agros, you might actually get a an early kill there, which is fantastic. All right, a few shots to destroy the disruptor. Curler gets the zapfish. All right. Of course, the uh, Octolings are not going to be in these positions when you're on the go. Um, but then the next thing you want to do is you want to head down this way, right? Where it's always faster to go down than up in Splatoon. Curler blows it up, and there will be an octoling waiting for you right there. And meal ticket. So grab that uh, on one of the salty runs that you lose. Uh, so at least you have a meal ticket. Okay, so from here, you'll ink, come to the edge, fall, and ink as you go. Ink the vertical. You'll be moving fast enough that you won't have to deal with that uh, octoling. A well placed curler can blow up the uh, the disruptor and the zapfish at the same time, so that's handy. After that, you make your way here, and as you can see, there's gonna be two crates there. Uh, depending upon your footwork, it might be useful to ink that section before you arrive, or you can just memorize where the crates line up, which is just to the right-hand side of where the zapfish container is, and make the jump. From here, it's just as simple as throwing down a curler, and you're in to go. All right, so because the level's so quick to run itself, I'll do a full run of the level right now, just so you can see it all in action. I'll do my best to talk my way back through it. So you enter the kettle, you're mashing that select button in order to uh, get through the little cutscene as quickly as possible. All right, Oop. get your motion controls all screwed up. Mess up your curler as a result. Grab the zapfish. Throw a curler down on the long run there. 
ignore that uh, octoling there. Not ignore that one, I guess. And it was just enough ink to uh, open up that zapfish thing. The container, I don't know what it's called. Get through, come on down. Another curler there, just ignore that octoling. Throw down your curler on the inside so that you get uh, both the uh, octoling, the, both the zapfish. Uh, hey, it's a PB. <laughs> you get both the zapfish and the uh, disruptor, and then just get a low key PV while you're filming a tutorial. That's just how you do it. Well, thanks so much for uh, watching me and my tutorial, and I guess this is also gonna get uploaded as a PB. <laughs> uh, if you wanna check out my other tutorials, uh, check out this YouTube playlist, and uh, comment, like, and subscribe if you find these